question, difference between service request and record producer. Your answer should be, a service request works with the cart where you can add multiple and then you can order. On the other end it creates a request, request item, and possibly approvals and tasks depending on its workflow. A record producer is nothing but task-based record. Record producer uses a script or template to create task-based records, ideally not a request. Question, what happens if a default update set is marked as complete? Your answer should be, if the default update set is marked complete, the system creates another update set named default1 and uses it as the default update set. If you find this content helpful then please like and subscribe. We wish you all the best. Question. Define business rule. Your answer should be. A business rule is a server-side script that runs when a record is displayed, inserted, updated, or deleted, or when a table is queried. The database operation that the system takes on the record. Option when the rule run insert when the user creates a new record and the system inserts it into the database. Update when the user modifies an existing record. Query before a query for a record or a list of records is sent to the database. Typically you should use query for before business rules. Delete when the user deletes a record. Question. Difference between script include and BR? Your answer should be, script includes load only on request while global business rules load on every page in the system. Question, what is the objective of display? Your answer should be, the primary objective of display rules is to use a shared scratchpad object, g underscore scratchpad which is also sent to the client as part of the form. This can be useful when you need to build client scripts that require server data that is not typically part of the record being displayed. Question, how can you remove slash hide filter of list collector? Your answer should be, set no underscore filter in variable attributes of the variable. Question, what is the difference between g underscore form and g underscore user? Your answer should be, g underscore form is a global object in the glide form class that references the currently active form. g underscore user is a global object in glide user that references the currently active user. It contains information about the current user. Note both runs on client side. ITIL interview questions. Question. Define ITIL. ITIL, Information Technology Infrastructure Library, is a set of practices for IT service management, ITSM, that focuses on aligning IT services with the needs of business. The ultimate goal of ITIL is to improve how IT delivers and supports valued business services. ITIL is not just technology management or process management. It also focuses on improving the capabilities of people, processes, and technology. ITIL provides value for an organization, its resources, and capabilities, including employees and customers. Question. Differentiate between internal services and external services. Your answer should be, internal services are delivered between departments or business units in the same organization. External services are delivered to external customers. Question. How many service providers are in services? Your answer should be, there are three types of service providers, O internal service provider, A service provider that is part of the same organization as its customer, O shared services unit, A service provider that caters to more than one business units to minimize costs and risks, e.g. network, security, scripting, and migration. 
O external service provider. A service provider that is part of a different organization as its customer. Also known as external supplier, e.g. outsourcing vendors. Question. What is the use of key performance indicators, KPIs, and metrics? Your answer should be, key performance IUI across, KPIs, and metrics are used to judge the efficiency and effectiveness of the SLA activities and SIP, service improvement plan, progress. These metrics cover both the subjective and objective measurements, subjective measurements, improvements in customer satisfaction objective measurements, number slash percentage of service targets being met number and severity of service breaches number of services with updated SLAs number of services with timely reports and active service reviews. Question, what is global and client script? Your answer should be, it is the indicator of whether the script applies to all views. When global is selected, the script runs regardless of what view is being displayed. When global is not selected, this script runs only if the current view matches the script's view. Global application in client script means the script can be used globally meaning to all your applications. While the other options are the name of your other application, if one of the applications is selected, it limits the client script to be used on the current application you've chosen. If you find this content helpful then please like and subscribe. We wish you all the best.